Wow, you're pretty much a Forza channel now. Might as well call me AR12 Hippo. Ha! Huh? Got him! What is up, guys? Welcome to another video, and today we're here for some more Forza. I feel like I'm just pumping out Forza at this point, and to be honest, it kind of reflects my current, like, mindset. I'm really excited for Horizon 4. It's, like, hands down one of my most, like, anticipated games for this year, which, if you asked me at the start of the year, I just didn't think I'd ever say. There's so many things to look forward with, with Horizon, but with the crew, too, obviously, coming out, and with Payback come out last year, I want to talk a bit about hype. Now, don't worry, the commentaries aren't going anywhere, but this is just something that I wanted to get off my chest, uh, and obviously, I'm, I've got a, like, limited time today uh, but, and it was kind of a topic which has been on my mind for a while and that is our racing game being too overhyped a lot of people would argue the crew 2 was overhyped and a lot of people would argue payback was overhyped and i kind of want to talk about it from a youtuber's perspective because a lot of people put you know a lot of pressure on us and a lot of people blame us for people getting hyped about games and stuff and it's just a bit stupid and a bit silly uh, and i kind of want to explain what it's like from my end you know obviously someone who covers content and i'm interested in racing games so obviously I'm, I'm gonna get you know happy and you know excited when features I want to see in a game be in a game uh, but I'm also gonna talk about when it's too far because there is kind of a weird kind of like gray area uh, which people seem to get a bit confused about so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into this so let's go ahead and talk about Horizon 4 first do I think Horizon 4 is currently overhyped? Forza have never, like, well, at least with the Horizon series, they've never made a bad game. As much as people like to say Horizon 3, you know, wasn't the same as first and the what and whatnot, you know, Horizon 3 was still a solid game. There was no bugs, nothing was particularly broken. Obviously, uh, the inherent performance upgrade problems are still, you know, plaguing Forza, and there's a few things here and there, like the DLC and stuff. But overall, that was a solid game. This is something which which you can't say for for example like the crew 2 or need for speed payback now do i think those games were overhyped the crew 2 in some ways but not necessarily i do think that the game you know it just didn't have any lasting legs but i think everything that was said prior to launch at least from myself was accurate physics really good customization really good everything you can play you know before the game comes out would indicate that the game was good and fundamentally the game is is great you know everything i said in those videos about the physics being good and about all the different types of modes and stuff that's all correct the only problem is there's nothing after the end game and for youtubers well you can't really predict that really because you don't get access to that during play sessions. Do I think Need for Speed Payback was overhyped? Uh, I think that was a, a very weird one as well. Obviously, having been with Ghost and stuff, I was playing the game early and whatnot. Um, and I think it, that was probably one area where I could say, yeah, that game was a bit overhyped. I remember Theo saying that it was the best physics in the Need for Speed game ever. I never said anything like that. I just wanted to make that abundantly clear. But I do remember Theo said that. Uh, and, you know, stuff cl kind of claims like that before launch, I think I don't think I'd ever make with any game unless I was very, very certain. Like, the crew 2 is the only game i could probably stand by in terms of physics that you know i praise before launch and you know obviously it's still after launch i still stand by that i think a lot of the reason why people blame youtubers for overhyping games is because obviously some do but i think it's very unfair to kind of put everyone under the same kind of umbrella at least for myself i try to be impartial that's one of the main things about my channel i feel is that you know i am kind of cut in the middle and I don't really like try to change anything for an agenda. I think it's a bit unfair to kind of group everyone because I see it happen all the time. Uh, you know, I'm very honest in my opinions and I I've done that, you know, with games like Super Street and I've done that with Need for Speed in the past. You know, Forza, I've made videos about their DLC rants. And I think it's really unfair just to judge a YouTuber at their, at their kind of, kind of uh, like core level or, or, you know, surface level. And, and say stuff like, oh, you're making this video because you want money, or you're making this video just because you want views, this, that, and the other. Like, I've never really understood that argument. Well, of course I want views, I'm a YouTuber, like, why would I want my video to have no views? That's fucking retarded. Horizon 4, I genuinely believe not to be overhyped in the slightest, because it is gonna be that good. Playground have a track record, they've, you know, they've got a, a core fan base of people that really enjoy their games, and that they've been you know on a roll ever since they've you know created the series yes it's gone downhill i think since the first but this genuinely seems like a bit of a rebirth and the amount of content in this like it's being proven like we're not going to have the same problem with the crew 2 because forzathon has you know hourly monthly and well, weekly challenges and stuff so we're not going to have the problem of end game we're not going to have the problems of car list maybe the only problem we're really going to have is game modes i don't think any particularly new game modes are probably going to go into the game but we still have all the ones that are 
returning and you know there's bucket loads of those so i don't think forza horizon is overhyped i think the crew to not necessarily oh, oh no, not the not necessarily overhyped but definitely they played their card very weirdly i think more disappointed than overhyped uh, for the crew too you know i i think with the game coming out it, you know what feels like in december with pvp it feels like it's coming out again because i haven't touched it in weeks which is really sad i've been playing more halo recently than the crew too um you know i can't see gator rush really kind of grabbing me back again because i don't really care for legendary parts nor am i really bothered about hovercrafts because i think that's the one thing which could really hinder the game is the fact that they've got more uh kind of forms of transport coming into the game they should really start like densifying the current ones that are in there anyway i don't want to ramble for too much longer but i do want to say you know youtubers aren't the reason that you're getting hyped for games the reason why you're getting hyped for games is because you're getting hyped for games uh and it's just one of those things be careful and just kind of realize like take everything with a pinch of salt for launch uh, obviously i'm in the position where like i would have to buy the games for launch to cover it on hit the channel um so you know if i wasn't doing youtube videos maybe i probably wouldn't even buy the games until you know i've seen reviews and seen what other people think but um i'm, I'm in a very weird position where like i'm gonna get horizon on launch probably off my Microsoft. I'm probably gonna get, you know, I don't know, like the next Need for Speed. I'm probably gonna get the next Crew, whatever, whatever comes out, you know, like on launch when it comes out, because that's the natural position I'm in. But I don't think it's fair to say that YouTubers are necessarily pan. Well, some pander to their audiences, but I don't think, especially in the racing community, most do. So that's my opinion on hype. I don't think Horizon 4 is overhyped. I think Need for Speed maybe was in the Crew to to in a certain extent, but overall. Uh, yeah, I just think it was an interesting thing to talk about because I see it talked about a lot in the comments and I think it's kind of a common ground. So as long as I get a right title, I think it's kind of an interesting video for this. So if you guys did enjoy, please go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day. Stay safe and peace.